good, good evening or good afternoon. I am not sure anymore. <laughs> and yeah, yes, thank you very much. Uh, I think this was the best part because I am not so funny speaker because I preferred a presentation for you. I am not able to speak like my uh, presenters, uh, uh, and but it's a big honor for me to be here. And I consider this also as a symbolic thing for the Czech Republic that together, like academic sphere, state institutions, and uh, NGO sectors are together to, uh, to, to speak to other country, uh, countries' representatives and also guests from the Czech Republic. And I think this is the, 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 the important thing, that those sectors cooperate together and that they uh, try to make a system much more uh, comprehensible and transparent for schools and for, uh, for teachers. And I think that we are really trying to do the best and uh, uh, also that we are here, this is the sign. My name is Sylvia Bikova and my role here was to speak in English, so I'm sorry for the inconvenience, both for English speakers and the Czech. Uh, Czech uh, guests, but uh, at the same time, so I am uh, representing NGO sector in the Czech Republic. Uh, I am proud of it, I can say, uh, because for 12 years I am leading an umbrella association of 20, or oh, sorry, 34 today uh, member organizations working in education, uh, mostly NGOs. And uh, also, I'm a member of the governmental, uh, government uh, council for NGO development in the Czech Republic. So this is my role. Um, it was not all the time. Uh, previously, I was a teacher at the beginning, and then I worked for state. Uh, and but something happened in uh, uh, 2010, and I think it was a crucial, uh, crucial year for the Czech education system. Uh, that many experts from a state institution uh, left state governmental organization and started to work for. Uh, civic organizations and the reason was that uh, there was a kind of political shift we can say and um, uh, um, a beginning of a tendency of um, uh, not um, uh, the continuity um, was disappearing of, uh, from our work at the time and many experts at the time decided to um, uh, to set new organizations, many new NGOs, uh, many new organizations appeared at that time and uh, uh, this sector is very strong in the Czech Republic. As I know the situation in other, uh, for example, neighboring country, I think that we have really many N NGO organizations working in educational uh, sector uh, and their role is uh, to support schools. I have to say that nowadays the, the political situation is much better if we compare the, 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 the situation in 2010 and we have now like um, educational strategies that uh, really are going in the same way and we can support those uh, national strategies and we are happy for, for it. Uh, what we are doing uh, as NGO sector and uh, we organize uh, regular uh, roundtables about education policy. And uh, regular, it means month monthly roundtables. So we really call for experts, state representatives from, for example, National Pedagogical, Pedagogical Institute, Ministry of Education. In every uh, roundtable we have a guest from the Ministry of Education. We have NGO representative, academics, uh, and uh, we uh, call them um, to discuss together like current issue in education. Uh, for example, nowadays we have uh, very uh, important discussions about the reform of curricula. So there are uh, roundtables about this issue or uh, we have, um, uh, for example, um, discussions about some specific uh, topic. Uh, then uh, this is, uh, so this is the way how to give voice to experts. And I think that 
ministry can invite experts, of course, but our role is to do it in an independent way. So if we see that some agenda is somehow overviewed or it's, uh, there is no, not enough attention, we organize this kind of event. And it's happening, and we are happy for the cooperation with the state uh, state institutions. Um, the other way, what we or the, the other thing, what we do, it's um, an initiative called Success for Every Every Pupil, which uh, we established in 2013. And it looks like, for example, for Finland or for some countries, it looks like a normal and natural thing, so success for every pupil. But this was not the case in 2013. Uh, there were many, many various paradigms in, uh, uh, in the school system, what is expected. And we decided to try to call those organizations which are following the vision success for every pupil. Nowadays, we can say that uh, there are hundreds already, and we organize every year annual conference together with the Ministry of Education and also other important organization in the Czech Republic. And for us, it's an event to uh, remember, to, to, to say, the, and to valid the vision that it is still the same way. We do not go back. We do not do not go the other way. We are continue. We are we continue uh, this uh, this way, and we try to do it better and better. And I think it's it's, it's functioning, and I am really happy that uh, this vision uh, was integrated in the EU project in the Czech Republic as a um, directed, uh, we can say, sentence that all the EU project in, uh, in, edu in the Czech educational system I, are directed by the vision uh, uh, success for every pupil. And it's, I think it's visible now. And what we are also doing uh, are public consultations. When the strategy 2030 was prepared in the year 2020, uh, our contribution was to call, uh, at the time it was 700 stakeholders and experts to uh, use the Delphi method. I do not know if you know what is, the, what is Delphi method. It means it's a very uh, demanding approach to the survey because it's activating the experts that they, they are discussing each other uh, in an, uh, an anonymous way um, that they can comment each other's suggestions and finally uh, we, uh, we were able to prioritize like um, uh, 39, uh, uh, how to say, top topics in the, for the Czech uh, school education system and the experts uh, were able to give them the priority. It, it was the source for the strategy 2030 as well. And, but we do also uh, other surveys among experts about well-being, for example, as it was said. Uh, this, all these instruments that I presented were about networking, about discussing, about meeting each other, about events. But with the strategy 2030, we decided it's not enough for the Czech Republic and we decided to establish a strong partnership. Uh, the partnership was uh, founded by seven umbrella associations, like 100 youth associations, uh, then uh, 200 like community, uh, local communities, network of local communities, association of headmasters, uh, then uh, our association of NGOs, association of regional educational centers, um, association for inclusive education, and also um, platform of private uh, foundation like donors who decided to uh, invest jointly in the Czech 
in the development and improvement, in improvement of Czech schools. So this network or this network um, establish a common partnership and uh, leaders are changing, unfortunately or fortunately, because you can see, for example, Clara Laurenčíkáva, who is uh, nowadays commissioner for governmental commissioner for human rights in the Czech Republic. And there is a new leader today, or Michal Cheny is now working for the Ministry of Education and also the association has a new leader and we su survived our cooperation. And in this cooperation, in this partnership, we decide, we, we are sure, and it's clear that the government is um, uh, responsible for the strategy 2030. We are not competing with the government, but we would like to contribute to the success of the strategy 2030. And uh, we uh, choose two topics, two goals that we we, have, we think we have a good expertise in it and if we can offer uh, our expertise and our knowledge to those two uh, goals. One is uh, to, um, uh, to help to invent effective system of local school uh, leadership, which would be capable to improve educational outcomes of pupils and equal opportunities, because as it was already said, our system is very autonomous. We have 10,000 schools, we have 2,500 school administrators like municipalities, it is very autonomous system, which is not easy to lead, as, as Ivo already said. And uh, so we would like to contribute to this goal. And the other goal, I have to say that uh, we came with this goal because well-being was not the priority of the Czech educational system before. And as the goal of well-being system of measures leading to improve the healthy physical and psychosocial development of children and young people. And now I think that well-being really became an agenda in the Czech, among Czech stakeholders and experts and that we start to work on it. How uh, does it look, our cooperation? It's a kind of clock you can see because that's many and many organizations and very autonomous organizations. They have their own strategies, their own funding. We do not lead them. We all, only what we do, we are building a synergy and a coordination mechanisms. So, uh, and uh, we, um, we are led by the principles of collective impact, uh, which we brought from Canada and the US. And it means that uh, we agreed all the organization on common agenda, common indicators, common coordination, which is not an easy thing, common communication, and SCAF is a backbone organization. So we, we provide all the support that this mechanism, this clock can work uh, from day to day. And our goal is to build a new culture of cooperation of very autonomous organizations in the Czech um, educational system with common goals. We, uh, it's including 22 organizations, seven founding part platforms, 11 expert organizations. And I have to say that, for example, for well-being, we, uh, we built a working group of therapeuts or, um, or with uh, organizations uh, working with really um, aggression in families uh, and all those uh, really hard and uh, difficult issues. And we'll, uh, we put them to together with uh, association of uh, Czech uh, school counselors, of association of uh, pedagogical psychological centers in the Czech Republic, really to create a common, um, I, I would say, uh, approach how to support well-being of pupils in the Czech Republic. We have uh, four consultative uh, institutions, Ministry of Education, and I have to say that really we meet regularly, monthly, about the agenda 
Czech school inspection, which is providing us really good data, and also, for example, association of regions, uh, because I have to say that it is really a very important partner for us. And we have 55 local partners, local initiatives, local, uh, like uh, it means at the level of municipalities. 60 experts in working groups. And what, me, what does it mean, my role? My role is really, or my role, our role is to, uh, to support negotiations, negotiations, <laughs> negotiations, and uh, uh, to invite and call people to really, uh, to make the opportunities that they can really openly and safely discuss about those issues. This is the, uh, the picture from the conference, Success for, for Every People, Pupil. And I would like to say, because I saw it in the materials that thanks to it, we had here in the Czech Republic, for example, Professor Michael Fullen or Andy Hargreaves, that there's the opportunity to bring here to the Czech Republic also this knowledge because it's important. And this is not everything because uh, the situation in society is so complicated today that we are convinced that we have to cooperate cross-sectorally and we are a part of a huge cross-sectoral network of 18 net, uh, like networks working also in other sectors like in a humanitarian help or in uh, environmental issues or youth or, uh, association, anti-corruption organization, women's organizations and all together we really we are meeting monthly and uh, working on our common uh, issues which are cross-sectoral or trans-sectoral. So, I will, I'm finishing because the reception is waiting for you, uh, but I wanted to provide you that we do not know if we are doing it well, <laughs> but we are trying to do our best to discover the opportunities and, uh, and to find the ways how to cooperate jointly with the state institution. And I think that now we have really the new challenge to start a very good cooperation also with the academic sphere, which is a huge sector, and but I think it's, uh, it's starting. And what we can offer from the NGO sector, we are a convener, we are facilitator, we support participation, uh, trying to build partnership within the system. We have some expertise as well in, in our NGOs and it's important to identify it. Uh, we are also providing school support. Many NGOs are providing school support. We are continuity keeper in the Czech Republic, I can guarantee this. And uh, we try to defend public interest. And, uh, somehow we can be independent and we can also bring some additional financial resources from EU funds but in the Czech Republic also from the very strong private foundation sector which is really exceptional I have to say. So thank you for your attention. I wish you very inspiring and nice conference and it's really uh, fantastic to meet in person i think after after years of uh, uh, pandemic situation so uh, enjoy it as as you can, as you as you like and uh, i wish you a nice experience from the czech republic thank you for your attention